Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It is me Daphne here with another video for you guys. Today I'm going to be making some pork chops in the air fryer. Sorry if you hear that crunching. Those are my kids eating an apple crunching really hard which obviously means they're hungry. So it's time for me to make dinner. So if you're interested in watching me use the air fryer again to make some fried pork chops then keep on watching. So I have my four pork chops here cleaned, dried, and I'm gonna season it. And of course, the main star, the New Wave air fryer. And we're gonna be frying up some pork chops, see what it does and how it comes out. Yeah, so let's season. So these are the five ingredients that I'm going to be using for the pork chops. I'm gonna season them right now. So I got my pork chops and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my garlic powder and I'm just going to sprinkle the garlic powder on the pork chops. I don't know how much this is. I literally just sprinkle. And this is not salted garlic powder. This is just garlic powder so we don't have to worry about salt. Then this here is the lemon pepper seasoning. This is actually salted so I'm not going to put can't even see it. Sorry, let's try to get it to focus. But anyway, I'm not going to put too, too much on it because it is salted. Then I'm going to put a little adobo just because. <coughs> and then we're going to do some paprika. Oh crap. My bad. That's a lot, but okay. And then we got some oregano. And this is what I call garlic, lemon, pepper pork chops. So now with my free hand, I'm just going to turn everything around. Okay, so now I gotta wash my hands. Really my hand, but can't wash one hand without the other hand. So I gotta wash my hands. I'm gonna put a little more seasoning on there because I don't think that's enough. But yeah, and I'll be back. So I had this marinade for about, I would say almost an hour. And now I'm going to stick it into the air fryer. Let's open this up and move forward. Okay, let's take a fork and one thing I can say I know for a fact that I like about this Hopefully it doesn't not do this this time, but I like that it leaves a little shape there. So it makes it seem like it was like grilled also. Okay, that's that. Let's close it up. Oh wait, I need two hands for this. Let's see if I can do it with one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Say goodbye. Okay, so now we're going to turn it on. Cook temperature. And that's that. Let's see it light up. And there we are. Okay, and I'll be back to check on it, to turn it around. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. And I kind of forgot about them, so I'm about to check on them right now. Let's pause this real quick. This is the way they look right now. So for me personally, I like my meat a little drier. I know, strange, but that's just the way I like it. That's that. I'll probably actually leave it in for a little longer just because, like I said, I like my meat a little dry. Or maybe not. I don't know. It depends. So I decided I'm going to make um, these five minute ready potatoes. They actually taste really, really good. You put them in the microwave for about five minutes, which is right there. And 
this is good. I'm pretty sure you could even put it in the air fryer if you don't like using microwaves. Sorry about the loud noise, but that's the air fryer right next to me. Making that noise, but I'm going to pair them with these. But instead of this flavor, I'm going to use the flavor that came from the other pack, which is like a garlic flavor. So I'm going to use this with the potatoes instead since I'm doing a garlic lemon pepper pork chop. Thank you. This pair. Really good. That's what we do. So this is my family's dinner for today. We have some spinach with some raspberry walnut vinaigrette dressing. We have the little baby potatoes that I put the garlic parsley, I believe, the um stuff that came with it. Well, it came with a different one. Anyway, you know the story if you've heard it before. And then we have my pork chop with my own little recipe, which is, I'm gonna call it a garlic lemon pepper pork chop. <laughs> so yeah, so we have a little garlicky meal here. This is gonna give it a little sweetness. So now let's cut right into this pork chop and see what it's looking like. Again, this is such a small little piece. When I say small, like look at the fork. It's like the size of the fork. But anyway. Cut. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Focus. Let's see if we could see any kind of juices flowing we must be seasoning is there any moisture in here at all I mean there's moisture on the top like let's squeeze it turn it back a little bit I'm gonna hold the camera more so that this is better focus camera focus so there's moisture on the top which makes sense and then I squeeze it I mean, there's a little bit of moisture coming from the pork chop. Er, squeeze, 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 squeeze. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, that's the pork chop. I'm gonna finish cutting this up anyway for my kids to eat it. I'm gonna taste a little piece of it. This is a proper way to cut things. I don't know if it's going to be against the grain, with the grain. Oh, that's so much easier. Just it up. And take a little piece. So yeah, I'm excited on how this meal actually came out. I think I'm in love with this air fryer. Actually, I'm not thinking. I know I'm in love with this air fryer. This air fryer is doing everything for me. Like I said in the last video I did, get yourself an air fryer for real. Don't forget to give this video a like if you like the way it looks. Give it a like, like.